Richard Pryor is here tonight. He is really, uh, is a unique talent. He's really hit a stride the past couple of years with successful uh, record albums, motion pictures, and he's going to be on tomorrow night also. Right ahead. This is promo show. night, let's face it. That's right, Les <laughs> This is plug night here, folks. Uh, it's his first television special at 9 on NBC, and uh, he's going to do his own series this fall. Would you welcome Richard Pryor. Things are falling off my desk here. Thank you, Rich. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cherry. <laughs> Richard. Hey, what's happening? Ed. Hey. hey. Richard. Hey. Ready. How are you? Ready. Dog. Dog. I wish I had a special on tomorrow night, too. Oh. So we could all get going like at 8 o'clock and go right through until 11.30. You, you guys got the network locked up tomorrow night. How bad? <laughs> we have? Sure, yeah. you at nine, him at ten. Yeah, that's good. Huh? Right. We're up against the archeries, so who cares, you know? Yeah. Uh, did you have any... They're uh, having uh, Chinese and Indian on the other stations. <laughs> Chinese Chinese and Indians? Yes, this is a white-black network, and they're moving over in oh, Chinese I see, I and see Indian. The kind of... And they have pilgrims and midgets on one. To balance it. <laughs> well, we... Try to get all the groups in on television. Oh, right. Right. All, of, all of what yeah. our great country stands for. See, that's right. Did you fellas uh, have any choices what time you were going to... Uh, <laughs> are you braiding those or what? Are you? <laughs> Did you fellas have a choice of what time you wanted to go on now? Chevy's on a 10, you're on I a I had nine. nothing to do with it whatsoever, Mr. Carlson. <laughs> I was just told to come here and do this, and I mean, you know, tomorrow night, as far as I know, it means nothing to me, absolutely not. <laughs> this is my cousin, Vinny. Uh, <laughs> Uh, she's in the car, though, if you want to. I'll watch his wife. <laughs> well, why not? Yeah. You married? Huh? <laughs> Don't say that to me, please. <laughs> I was married here in California. Yeah. They kill you here. Don't. When they get ready to leave, they take you right to court. <laughs> It was wonderful. Yeah. It was wonderful. I was, my wife, my ex-wife went to court. She looked like a 12-year-old girl. I didn't even know who she was. She walked in the court. I started crying just looking at her. Because I knew I was going to penitentiary or something. You know? <laughs> judge, judge said, judge said, she was white, too. That was even worse. <laughs> judge said, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was that. Huh? Oh, boy, we're going to have fun with you. I didn't, uh, I didn't mean to bring up some unpleasant things. I'm still things. on parole. I didn't know that. you just, <laughs> just out for the show, huh? Yes. So you were married and then divorced here in California. Yes. Yes, that is. Uh, we have in California, in case some of the states don't know it, a, a community property law. Yes. Which means that uh, once the spouses uh, decide to live separately, uh, the husband gets to visit the hassock about once a week, <laughs> and that's about as You know what, though? It's so interesting. I, I think it's fair that the women get, you know, the money. I really do. But I think, though, what's interesting is that she never wanted no money when I was poor. <laughs> you know what I mean? She waited till I started making money and working, and my head was clear, and she started sending me little summons. I'd come out of the building. Hi, bro. Here's the summons. <laughs> I knew that would be thrilling to talk about. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I didn't really mean to get into that. I have my finger caught here. If you hmm, you have your finger this. caught in there? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have any uh, kind of things to show, like Chevy. You didn't bring anything uh, from your show? No, now? but I have, I have some slides. Well, that's, that's the girl in the car. Yes. You may keep that one over oh, there. Oh, 
this, uh, this one is, uh, this is, uh, this is the crew, a couple of crew. A couple of the crew members? That's and they're standing there, that's coffee. You have a nice, in the back there. nice crew. I think you said nice, coffee. And the white nice little crew. white things are cups. Right. That and is... they're, they're having coffee. And this one, this is one of my, this is the one I like. This yeah. here's, uh. The check is, to the girl. It's a, this is the NBC. Credits. That's the credits. Of yes. The show. And the end of the show, they have credits. And it's really nice. And yeah. Well, it's nice of you to bring those. This uh, one here. It's... Anything visual sometimes helps a television show, yeah. you know. And, uh, if you want to keep these and show them later this week. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we have a, uh, we have a very hot, uh, I may get stuck with an author about a quarter of one, and I can just whip these out and uh, show these again. Uh, Mm, right there. Thank you. You're going to do a film, too. What's your special about? Can you tell us anything about it or just about say what? About special? special oh, about it's about funny. And uh, it's about people laughing. And we worked and had a beautiful time. It was uh, 9,000 black people here at NBC and only three white people died. And it was just a, <laughs> a wonderful experience uh, to have it happen. It was, just, it was great because the people in the hall go, there's a lot of black people. <laughs> May I see, say that I have seen Richard's yeah. special? Uh, no, you may not say that. Okay. I'm very sorry. In fact, though, that I, I have seen it, and it's, and it's hilarious. It's not quite as funny as mine, but it's really... <laughs> really very funny. No, it's very funny. It's very funny. Have you seen Chevy's uh, special? I don't like Chevy. I see. <laughs> okay, we're going to come right back and uh, take another look at the slides here right after this commercial break. So, stay there. Okay, we're back. Wow, 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 wow. With Richie Fry and Chevy Chase. How come it took you so long to get around to television? I mean, doing... Well, I had uh, money sure. until last week. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Uh, Bert Sugarman uh, is responsible for me doing some television. Uh, he really made it easy for me to work on television because I really think television is such a... You know? And you really can't do anything on it. Anything creative, because people be worried about, well, don't, don't, uh, don't show that coat, because it uh, looks like a coat a murderer had on 10 years ago. Too many people, restrictions. Huh? Yeah, you know what I mean? And they really are about it. And, uh, <laughs> and no, it, no, and it's, it's hard, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to work, but we worked on the conditions. Uh, Bert Sugarman made sure that nobody from NBC came down and, and messed with us at all. Mm -hmm. And we got to do the work and the show was finished because you have to deal with, when you work with black people, you have to deal with them different. You can't come at them with them dumb things like, what are you going coming through this way? Because I want to come through this way, sucker. What the hell are you talking about? You know? So you have to deal on a nice level and the energy was nice and the people were good and I, I felt proud of what we had yeah. done collectively, you know? And I really wanted to do some more. And we didn't make no money on the thing because all the money went to production on us, you yeah. know, really. And so it wasn't about that, it was about work, about what we felt like we'd like to try to do something. And uh, it was really exciting. And I think... Uh, but you don't think they restricted you too much, really what you wanted to say? Yes, they restricted well, you. know, there are limitations you, on I mean, television. You know, I couldn't the do the scene with the lady in the bed, that was cut. But other than that, uh, things well, like that I wanted to do with the elephant. It was really embarrassing. <laughs> but, but you know they've got to Yes, You've I got understand that, but there's some television. limitations. But there's some, things, <laughs> there's some things they don't even have to do, you know, they worry about, you know what I mean, like creatively. Right. You know, it's really hard because they really after that buck to try to sell something. And I understand that. Right. So if we, we got to kind of understand it because my attorney, David Franklin, made it possible for things to work. And it's really nice. It's a nice spirit so far. So we're going to see how it goes. Good. Good. Well, I hope it works out for you. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. Right for, me. <laughs> for being here. You ever been back to your hometown? You go back there often? Yes. Peoria, Peoria, is it not? Yeah, Peoria is in Illinois. And it's, thank you. Thank you. Thank you also. Thank you. Why don't you all just clap for Peoria? Now, all of those people obviously are not from Peoria. Oh, yes, they are. I hired them. Okay. Come in and Peoria and Burbank are merging. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I go back. I'm going back uh, Friday. Yeah. Uh, to uh, see my son in a talent show and uh, spend Mother's Day with my grandmother. Is he talented? Your my son? son? No, he has no talent whatsoever. <laughs> but you have to go and watch him and encourage him. He's a wonderful son. What is he, do what is he doing in the show? Uh, he yodels and throws... Huh? <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> what was it you said? I didn't was say it? nothing, man. Oh. Nothing. I just say nothing. <laughs> you had... 
You got to you got to deal differently when you're dealing with those people. <laughs> you gotta... I was going to ask you why didn't you tell Johnny he was going to take over his show? Oh. <laughs> I knew you'd bring that up, and Johnny and I we discussed it, and uh, neither of us care. <laughs> That monologue you were doing with the chair is a perfect replacement for Johnny. <laughs> a lot of chair falls. And yeah. My opening monologue will be a fall over chair tonight. Thank you very much. Well. You guys better be big hits tomorrow night. <laughs> I got okay. mine. I got mine. You're all right. I got mine. We're, we're screwed. I got mine. I'm home free. Good. So am I. Yeah. I, you, what... I love show business. That's the only reason I'm in it. <laughs> Show business is your life, so to speak. In a way. In a way, certainly. Yes. Uh-huh. You gonna make another picture? You fixing no. to give me these back? No, I'm gonna keep those. <laughs> you gonna make another picture? Yes, starting in May in, uh, in Detroit. I'll be in Detroit and I'll be, uh, I'll be jogging in the morning, please. Me and Rashawn, two black men, will be jogging. We're not robbing anything, please. Don't shoot us accidentally as we're jogging. In the streets of Detroit. <laughs> you have to announce these things. Why, why, you, why is, is the locale for this picture Detroit? Uh, uh, I would imagine that's why you're going there. <laughs> but it might not be. Uh, uh, Kalamazoo and Detroit, you know, and the, yeah. all the little cities surrounding it, all the cities where they make automobiles. It's about uh, uh, factory workers and Paul Schrader directing, Harvey Keitel and Yafit Kotal. Uh, I forget the names of people, please. I, I apologize. Well, that's all right. You can remember all the people, I'm yeah, sure. But, remember yeah. Eisenhower? And <laughs> Ring a bell? Doug Eisenhower, yeah! Doug, Dougie Eisenhower! Yeah! Right! Yeah, played basketball with Cincinnati. <laughs> he got seven points the whole season. It was fabulous. <laughs> Great on assists, though. Uh, well, probably the first draft. He had one on his one. knee. <laughs> Bam! Chuck! Boom, boom. Chunk, chunk. Okay, we're gonna, um, pull this thing together. Uh, <laughs> Where's our sponsor here and see if we know what we're doing? We have more slides for you later on.